studying for this camp test And I don't think I can read much longer I gave up that slumped on my desk Remembered how we spent last So I'm going to teach you about acid-base chemistry um, and clear up a few things for Chem 20. So the first thing is dissociation. Dissociation is making a solution from an ionic compound. That's important. That ionic compound, it only happens in dissociation. So dissociation is only of ionic compounds. And what happens is the solid that we put in, the magnesium chloride or whatever we put in, is put into a liquid or into water usually, sometimes alcohol, but because it's aqueous, it's going to be water, and it's going to become its ion. So it's going to form magnesium 2 plus, and it's going to form chloride, chloride ion, which is 1 minus. You have to balance that equation, which is really important as well. So you need to have those two chlorides there and the one magnesium, as well as the one magnesium chloride. Okay, it has to be aqueous when you're making it because you are making a solution. So the products of a dissociation equation is always going to be an aqueous solution just because those ions are breaking down in that water. So it happens in the water. The water is actually not involved in the reaction. Ionization is the making of a solution from a molecular compound. There's a few things to remember. You're always going to form H3O+. Now H3O+, is just an acid attached to a water molecule, so it's always going to form an H3O+. If you don't remember that plus, you're not going to get marks, so make sure you remember that it's an H3O plus ion, and it's also going to form whatever's left. So obviously we're transferring a hydrogen from an acid to a water molecule to form that H3O plus. This is also one of the most important ideas that you learn from Chem 20 to get onto Chem 30. So you need to remember that it's going to form an H3O plus. This is the basis of your calculations from now on. So what happens in an ionization is that the water molecule, which you see here, is going to attack this guy, the acid that you're given, and he's going to take along the hydrogen. So he's going to pull off that hydrogen from that acid, and he's going to form the H3O+. So if we take away this hydrogen, what's left is the CH3COO. Now it's going to have a negative charge because it's lost a proton or lost a hydrogen. So you're going to have that as a negative ion. So you're always going to form that H3O+, plus, which is your acid, and then whatever's left with a negative. So if you have a polyprotic acid, which is something with more than one hydrogens, what's going to happen is your water's going to come in, and it's going to slowly remove each one of these hydrogens one at a time. So you're going to need three waters to come in and attack this hydrogen, because you have three hydrogen molecules, or atoms, too deal with. So one water is going to come in, pull off one hydrogen, and create one H3O+. Because there's three hydrogens present, you're going to be able to make three H3O+. Pluses. And then you're going to be left with, it, with whatever's left. So we have our PO4. And we've lost three hydrogens, so it's going to be a three minus. So if we lose these three, we know it's going to be PO4, and it's going to have a three minus because we've lost three hydrogens. We make three H3O pluses because we have to react with three waters, so you need it with three in front of that H2O as well. The final thing that might happen with an ionization equation is that you'll get a compound that doesn't actually have a hydrogen in it. So what you're going to have to do, you're still going to make that H3O plus. So what's going to happen is you're going to require two water molecules. So I've drawn them a little bit differently here in order to show you how to do this. So what's going to happen is you're going to always make H3O+. Plus. How you're going to do that is you're going to pull off a hydrogen from one of these other molecules of water and create your H3O+, plus that way. Okay, so that's your H3O+, plus molecule you have there. Now you have this OH remaining. What are we going to do with that, you ask? Well, you're going to add it to your CO2. So you're going to add an O and another H to your CO2, and you're going to come up with your HCO3 minus. So we have a plus, and we need to have a minus just to even out the charges at the same time. So we've created that H3O plus using two water molecules and created an H3O plus and an HCO3 minus. 
Okay, so that's all for acid-base chemistry, the intro at least. We're going to get more in-depth for sure, but that was just your little basic understanding of ionization versus dissociation. So dissociation is the separation of an ionic compound into its ions. Ionization is the separation of a molecular compound into H3O plus and whatever ion is left. Okay, so now I'm just going to leave you with a funny little moak joke. So what did the bartender say when into his bar walked oxygen, hydrogen, sulfur, sodium, and phosphorus? Oh, snap! Uncle Valentine that never breaks A face for us that will never change An endothermic reaction will heat things up Boiling point our temperatures rise We'll vaporize and fly to the sky